Also tonight as Pride Month wraps up, some in the local LGBTQ community are concerned about the lack of resources for veterans. But the Augusta VA says they do provide a wide range of services to veterans and they're always encouraging patients to share their identity as it helps them better service their needs. Our Taylor Martin spoke to the director of LGBTQ services. So Taylor, what did they tell you? I spoke with one woman at the VA here in Augusta who says most people in the LGBTQ locally don't know they have resources available, but she's on a mission to help change that. 12 years after the repeal of the Don't Ask, Don't Tell law, Do Ask, Do Tell is now the model of LGBTQ veteran care. There's a bunch of different health care risks that people face if they are part of LGBTQ plus identities. So just making sure that we're out in the open and that we're actually talking about this with our providers. For Dr. Jennifer Merrifield, providing resources for LGBTQ veterans is personal. I do have an uncle who served in the Marine Corps and he was uh, put out of the military for a dishonorable discharge under Don't Ask, Don't Tell. Finding out later on that he was put out for being gay was just so disheartening to me. And when she found out he didn't have access to the same care as other veterans, all because of who he loves, she found a new purpose as a VA provider, helping provide an array of services to veterans just like her uncle, right here in Augusta. That could be transgender care. It could also just be support services. So we've got primary care, um, specific clinics that are for gender diverse veterans. We also have mental health services. And the list goes on resources, not just during Pride Month, but every day. Not only are you just getting you know, better health care in general, but there's also supports. And that's super important when you're here in the South um, and in Augusta, where you've got a lot of more you know, closed-minded individuals where people need that extra support um, to thrive. The list of services is anything from hormone treatment to substance and alcohol abuse. And we'll have more information about all that's available on our website, wrdw.com. Taylor, thanks very much. New at 11.